Hey guys. So as promised, here is the long awaited quick thoughts discussion type video for uh, Persona 3 Fez, which I finished on Friday and uh, is currently Sunday morning. Um, I can say pretty confidently that this was one of the best games I have ever played, uh, hands down. Um, I think by the end, I clocked in like 65 hours and we can probably round that up to like 70 or something when you count deaths and having to replay certain things. But, uh, and it's funny cause I was like going through my discord earlier just to try and like, just remembered kind of everything that led up to this, but, uh, It's funny because I remember when Glue Boy was playing Persona in in call, like we would just be hanging out or whatever, or like you know we'd like be working on music stuff or whatever, and then he would just like oh, okay, like we're done for the day, let's just hang out, and he would be playing and like he just couldn't stop talking about it like he was just singing the praises of it and it was like okay i need to i need to figure out what's up with this game and it's kind of always been something i wanted to play i feel like when i was first getting into persona it was always persona i guess it was because persona 4 had like just come out and so that was the one getting most of the praise and this was like you know, it was weird and, and like it's just different, I guess, compared to other games. And you know, obviously, then P five came out, and everyone talks about how great that game is. Uh, I'll be playing both P four and P five eventually. But uh, something about P three, I, I think maybe just because it was a a darker game, like a darker themed game, it it seemed to be a. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know like what the 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 word I would use is. I I, I don't want to say edge, but maybe that's the word. It just had like a darker tone to it. Um, and uh, finally, after you know, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, I I, I finally bought the game. And. Uh, I was thinking about this too, and like even like scrubbing through my uh, my Discord and everything. I bought the game, I believe, in August of last year, so August of 2023, which was a very, very, very frustrating uh, point in my life personally. Um, there's just so much going through my head, and I actually distinctly remember i bought the game and something happened like i'm not gonna say what it was like the day before it showed up or like the day after i think it was the day before because i vaguely remember it coming in the mail and me being like dude i'm not even like fucking stoked to play this game like like whatever like like who cares you know uh to such a degree that i have this very infamous photo of me using it as a wine coaster <laughs> which is you know hilarious in retrospect but i i think this photo kind of uh you know paints the picture of where i was at the time which leads me to october where i asked glue boy what he wanted for christmas and he literally said he wanted me to play Persona 3 because he, th he thought I, I would like it a lot. Um, being one of my best friends, I think he and I, especially what, what I've noticed over the past, uh, you know, like all these years of being friends, we kind of have similar tastes when it comes to just like art in general. Like, you know, he always jokes about it, but like, yeah, a, a lot of the stuff that he was really big on, like he's kind of pushed onto me like you know silent hill and condemned and maybe some 
less serious things like like the sopranos but that's a whole other conversation but uh so begrudgingly i started the game and i i have to use the word begrudgingly because i feel like for the first definitely in october and probably for the rest of 2023 when I was playing it. I was just kind of playing it on autopilot. Like, paying, like... I would pay attention when whenever, like, big story moments would happen. Like, uh, there's the full moon with uh, with Fuka. I believe it's the second full moon. Or third, maybe. It's one of the early ones. Um, But, like... I feel like like I was largely playing the game incorrectly. You know, I wasn't doing many social links. I wasn't going to Tartarus maybe as much as I should have. Like, I was just kind of, like, trying to get through it. And I don't know, like, what happened, but maybe, like, 25 hours in. So I think at this point, this was, like, earlier this year in, like, January or so. I don't know what happened, but, like, something just kind of clicked with me in this game. I can't really put into words what it was, but, like, I started just being way more interested. In, I was playing it way more. Um, I was genuinely curious where, like, the story was going, where, like, like, what was happening with certain characters and whatnot, and, like... I don't really know, like, it just all of a sudden, like, made sense, and then, not since Silent Hill 2, uh, has a game, like, gripped me the way that this game was, to where it was, like, I was, like, thinking about it, I was, like, I wanted to keep playing, I wanted to keep seeing, like, what happened, I wanted to just get further and further and further, so I think, like, in the game's clock, I went from, like, july i should have checked this actually i went from like it was definitely still in the first semester i want to say like july until the end of the game probably took me like like a month to do or something you know which is like the majority of the game i mean again that's like you know it's probably 40 hours over the course of like a month or something i put into the game um and especially in this past like week or two because I, I knew i was getting to the end i was like okay i just want to keep going keep going and the definitely like the like october especially with the october full moon which we'll talk about in a second until uh the end like that last like third of the game is just like like that could have just been the game and i probably would still feel the same way i do you know like that was like a journey and i i guess we'll, we'll talk about this now like getting to the story and i think the fact that like it does have such a slow burn at the start you know and they kind of like, they kind of like, like sprinkle like little bits here and there. And then eventually like, you know, like, like I mentioned, there's the full moon with, uh, with Fuka, which I've told this story before, but, uh, there's a part where you're on top of like a rooftop. And, uh, I was just like watching the cutscene, And then one of my speedrun friends had messaged me about something i think like asking for something and so i answered and then i looked over literally like five seconds later and there was like a gang fight breaking out like i want to say like someone like like hit junpei and i was just like what the fuck is going on like it was it's like stuff like that that just kind of like like you kind of during that like slow burn phase it was like i kind of just wanted to keep playing just to like see like, when more stuff like that would happen. Which is probably why, like, 
I was just kind of blowing through the days, not doing social links or not, you know, not going to Tartarus as often as I should have not doing, you know, just like trying to like breeze through because I was way more interested in the story than I was like uh, the combat and everything. Uh, I'm trying to think of what happens in like the middle. I know there was a couple more like, like I, I believe the, the, I had my numberings wrong, so bear with me. The fourth full moon, I believe, is the one with all the mirrors and everything. That one was also cool. Maybe not as story driven, but like, I just felt like it was laid out in a, a certain way. You know, it, it was, it was cool. It was, it was different. It was, it was interesting. It was, uh, I don't know if quirky is the right word, but. There's kind of like a lull I felt in like the, the middle of the game, like kind of around like the end of the first semester, the summer break, you know, there's the, the beach episode, which like, you know. Probably my least favorite part of the game, but, like, it is what it is. And, of course, it introduced uh, one of my favorite characters in the game, I guess. So, it was worth it, of course. Um, And then, yeah, and then the whole, like, second semester. Um, I mean, the October full moon, like, I don't even know, like... That it just caught me so off guard. And it's like the way it's all presented, like like the, that could have been a movie, you know. It's it's all presented so well. And like And it's funny because I was like, man, like 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 why does no one talk about Shinji? You know? And of course it's like Oh. I guess that's why. And even, like, having to, like, go to the assembly after and, and the scene with, like, Akihiko at the shrine and everything. Like, that's, like... That, to me, is where this game peaks. Is, like, story moments like that. Then there's the November full moon with, um with Chidori and everything, and, like, that was, that was definitely a lot, too, um, maybe not quite as, as dramatic, but still, like, a very, uh, impactful moment, I think, one that definitely resonated with me, um, and the December full moon, um, with, with Ryoji and everything, you know, that was, that was definitely something. Just the whole month of December in general with Ryoji is, uh, is crazy. And actually, I don't know how many people know this, but I actually originally got the bad ending where you, you kill Ryoji, you skip straight to March uh no one knows one another and like the game just kind of ends which it was like I, I guess like cool to see that for for like novelty but uh i will also say pretty confidently i think the month of january is the best part of the entire game everything like the music changes the just like the vibe of that whole month like that was such a cool thing to experience just like like i kind of was drawing the parallel the whole time to end of the world in kingdom hearts one which i talk about all the time it's like my favorite end to any game like just again the the music the presentation it feels like this is the end of the fucking game and the whole month of January in this game was the same sort of thing for me. It's like, you know, it feels like you're in a ghost town. The music is all, like, super somber. It's all based on otherwise very, like, 
happy melodies that have been used throughout the like the rest of the game and now they just sound so like sorrowful and like you 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 can tell it's 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 the end of the fucking game there's a weight to everything and like i i don't know maybe it's recency bias but like i i would maybe put january in in this game like right up there is like my favorite end to any game like i think it, it coincides pretty well um and then the ending i mean what needs to be said i i think the game ends perfectly i i, I actually the whole the final boss is insane um, I know a lot of people were floored that I beat it in only, uh, two turns, or two attempts, and the first attempt, I'll, I'll be real, I got kind of shafted on, it was a uh, wrong place, wrong time, with the wrong persona out, and, uh, Nyx definitely, uh, tripled down, got three big hits on me, and down I went. But uh, I got it on my second try. That fight was so long. And they kept using a... I always forget the name of it. Uh, a Moonless Gown, I believe it's called. Like, apparently it's supposed to be like... Like a super move or something. And they just kept... Like, they just kept using it on me. Like, literally, like... Like, every, like, two turns. I'd hit, like, once and uh they would just get me and then you know the whole part where you're in i don't even know what it's supposed to be but like when you actually like kill death and everyone's like giving you the strength and the whole like scripted ending like i i love stuff like that like I'm trying to think of, of uh, any other games I know that do that. Like, I know Halo Reach has it where, like, you know, you just kind of keep killing Covenant until you die, you know, and, like, eventually, like, it just becomes overwhelming and, like, you have no choice. Um, God, I'm trying to think. Uh... And then I I will say the the month of March I think is way better in the the the, the true ending where you know everyone remembers one another and and uh just that like moment at the end where you're resting on I guess and the main character just just kind of you know literally fades away um yeah I, I i really do think that's like the the perfect ending you know it i don't even know what to say like i i just think it it, it wraps the game up so nicely uh okay let me talk uh, characters real fast. So, main character, I mean, there's not really a whole lot to say. He's just kind of... He's just kind of there, and he's just the vessel for all of this. I mean, you know, his hair looks good. That counts for anything. Um, Junpei. Junpei and Yukari. I'll, I'll, I'll try and talk about these kind of didn't like either of them at the start i actually found a, a post i made um in my discord and i i i, I probably should have said this at the start but i had a thread in my discord and yelling about persona 3 which uh basically just because i was playing it on and off stream so i would just like post if i was playing it or like just like jot down like thoughts about like like, if something cool happened or something, like, caught my attention, I would just, like, talk about it in there. 
Um, and what, the first thing I said in there was a uh, 10 minutes in and I already want to throw Yukari down a well. And again, maybe that's a, uh, you know, just the the time period that I was in when I was playing this originally. But uh I grew to really like Yukari and Junpei. Um, apparently a lot of people don't like Yukari, which I, I can't really tell why, to be honest. Apparently people are like, I don't know. Like to me, if you don't like Yukari at like the worst, she's just kind of there, you know, it's like, like she seems so harmless to me, but I don't know. Apparently people really don't like her. Um, Junpei, I also did not like at the start, but Junpei, I don't know. After a while, I I kind of warmed up to both of them, and uh, Junpei, I, I will say the 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 character progression from the start of the game to the end of the game is pretty monumental. And honestly, that's another thing I, I I really, really like about this game is I feel like with most of the characters, they have this like impactful moment. It's like their moment in the story. And I feel like what makes Junpei so special um, during that November full moon is uh, you really do get to see just like the progression from you know the the seven months prior like when he's a bumbling idiot and then you know like you you, you just kind of see him like grow little by little and then eventually like you know at by the end he's like still a bumbling idiot but like very very focused when he needs to be and uh and that's definitely something that uh i relate to quite a bit because that's i mean that's that's fucking me man like <laughs> what do you want you know like this is i fucking made a career off, off being that way um i'm gonna try and do these in the order that they're introduced but i'm probably gonna do them out of order. Uh, so, Mitsuru. I mean, let's let's get the obvious out the way. I mean, she is the the thirst trap of the group. You know, it is what it is. And like, I was playing it up too. Like, I'm not even gonna fucking try and pretend like I wasn't. Um, I feel like her personality, like, she was just very, very, um, narrow-minded. And, uh, I feel like after a while, that kind of started to bother me. Like, it felt like she felt maybe a bit limited to just, like, oh, work more, study more, do better, go to Tartarus, get strong, like... That was, like, pretty much her whole personality. Until, like, towards the the back end of the game, where I felt like she just started to make, like, huge strides. I mean, there's the thing with, with her father and everything, and all of this, like, extra lore about her gets revealed, and it was just like, oh. Like. Wow. Uh, and in the the back half of the game you start to see her loosen up a lot more and maybe not be as serious and and i i really enjoyed that i feel like she became a way more likable character again i i think before she was kind of just there and again she's the thirst trap so like that was kind of, that was like kind of her thing, I guess. I don't know. That was, that was the role she played. And then by the end, it was like, 
there's just way more here to like connect with. I think the same can be said about Akihiko. He was kind of just there. He was the, like, the elderly presence. You know, I mean, he's a year older than you, but, you know. The... And then, you know, the, the, whole, the whole thing, the whole thing with Shinji during the October full moon and everything, like, that kind of, like, was hinted at beforehand with, with Strega and everything. Um, I don't know again he seemed just kind of there and, and then they kind of would like hint at these like little like bits of the backstory and, and then you know Shinji's introduced and I guess now we're, we're we're jumping out of order but like Shinji's introduced and then like the whole like history that they have and like how that's explored and then obviously like the way with you know Shinji being killed and then Akihiko just kind of having to like bear all of this guilt like that's fucking heavy and like again like I, I feel like that was just like such an impactful moment I I, I will say I don't think they had quite as much of a jump, like, personality-wise after that. Like, I feel like after all of that, they kind of just were still themselves. They was still just, like... Like, they they just seemed very... I don't know if private's the right word, but, you know, very... Uh, like, I don't think they opened up nearly as much as uh, Mitsuru did. Uh... I believe Fuku was next. I kind of talked about it earlier, but the way Fuku was uh, introduced, that whole, like... That's probably my favorite moment in the first half of the game. Uh, you know, is just, like... Very jarring. Very, uh... I don't even know what's the f what's the word to use, like... It's just, like, that whole, like, full moon is, like, such an outlier. Like, it's it's so, like, oppressive and bleak. And I feel like a lot of what happens on, like, either end, like, like the month before and the month after, is very... It's just way more, I don't know if cheerful is the right word, but, you know, maybe not as serious. It's, you know, pretty loose still, pretty uh non-serious, and then, you know, and then that, and it's like, holy shit, like, yeah, reminder, this game is pretty fucking morbid at times. As a character, you know, uh, it is... It's kind of cool seeing her mature a little bit as the as the game went on, you know. Not afraid to stand her ground when she needs to during uh, later parts. It, at first, that was kind of like out of character, and then I think after a while, it just was like, nah. I guess like this this is just the character now, you know. Like that's just that's just Fuka. That's just her vibe, you know. Serious when she needs to be. Uh, let me think. I think Igis is next, but uh, it's funny because I feel like there's quite a bit between Fuka being introduced and Igis being introduced. But, uh... I mean, what needs to be said about Igis? Um... Honestly, I guess might be my favorite character in the whole game. I guess his journey and like how I don't know. It, it it always reminds me of like of like Short Circuit. It's that whole like you know robot who 
eventually learns to understand the human emotion and seeing her like become human like or like way more human like by the end of the game and you know opening up and like that was just so cool to see and so like impactful and uh I, I I just feel like her story arc, like they 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 nailed so perfectly, even down to like the social link you do at the end of the game in January, and then the way the game ends, like everything is just tied together so perfectly, um, to the point where like because like I I mentioned this a bunch too, I I love the way that I guess speaks just the the very like broken english the the very like jagged sentences i used to joke that like it sounds like she's laying out like concrete bricks or like she's, she's like she's, she's she's like putting bricks down trying to like make each sentence as she goes like mentally like she's just like trying to like find words and um i need to actually see because i have a there's a quote that i pinned that I think it's, it's, uh, where's pin messages? Congratulations on surviving your illness. Just like, even down to saying things like that is like funny to me, you know? Just, she has such a way with words. I don't know. <laughs> oh, and she's probably, I mean, besides like, because we're playing Fez, um, I can't, like, control the party or anything. Which I know a lot of people have told me that that's, like, like a, a drawback of the game. I heard, I've had a few people tell me that, like, because I, I, I was vocal about, like, I don't really mind that. And they're like, yeah, I was in the same boat. Then I played a game where you could control the party, and then going back is, like, it just feels like such a downgrade. But uh, we'll see how I feel about that. Um, but yeah, I guess is probably my favorite character in the game. Um, I guess let me real quick. Uh, shout out Koro. Love Koro. Getting to walk Koro at night is like, was like, one of my favorite things to do. I think it's hilarious that he would just like go out and bring you stuff. Like he'd bring you Red Bull, which is like hilarious to me. He'd, you know, bring you items and whatnot and or bring you back money sometimes. Like that was funny. Um And then Ken. I didn't really Ken was like Again, there's the 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 October full moon. And that's like pretty heavy. And such like an iconic moment, but I I don't really feel like Ken did a whole lot like afterward. He was like just kind of there. And uh kind of kind of like not unsimilar or, or not not dissimilar to um to Akihiko where it was like basically the whole MO of their character after that event is just like we need to do this. Like we need to you know, ascend Tartarus, stop the dark hour, stop Nyx, like like that's just that's just like the vibe for like the rest of the game after the October full moon. Um I believe that's all of the main characters. Uh I don't think I'm missing anyone. Um, I mean I guess there's Elizabeth, which like I I mean what what could even be said? Elizabeth is a... Uh... 
Elizabeth is funny, and I I remember when you take Elizabeth out on a date uh, towards the beginning of the game, and she's just <sighs> she's something. I oh my god, she's so funny to me that I made that uh that there's there's that video of her and where she's just like running down the up escalator and pouring money into wells she's like running down the slide fucking like I, man I, I don't know her her vibe was unmatched uh i guess i should also talk about chidori which uh Chidori's funny to me, and, like, I I kept having to refrain from making jokes about it, but, like, uh, there's no, like, like light way to put this, but, like, I've, uh, met and dated a bunch of Chidori's in, in my life, so just, like, the fact alone that there was a character, this girl, this very depressed psychotic uh you know art student who and the fact like like that that's already one thing but the fact that they talk about like strega having to take pills in order to like stop their personas from attacking them and just like 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 that alone is already like like that like hit me like a brick but also like again just that very like bleak oppressive sort of thing like that is and i don't know if anyone listening to this has ever had to deal with uh you know people heavily abusing antidepressants or anything like that not to you know go down this rabbit hole but like just like the imagery alone that like that conveys of like having to to take pills to stop this monster from attacking you is like like Jesus Christ like that's that's fucking insane and it's crazy to like stop and think about like how like how fucking terrifying that is because it's woven into the game so seamlessly that if you don't like take a second to stop and think about it, it's like it just feels like another part of the game. You know. I will also say the uh the uh also I I, I think I, I mentioned uh, Chidori, I believe that whole thing happens in the the December full moon. It's it's after that is where uh I, I could be getting them confused. Um, but I believe Chidori's is in... It, it's one of the two. I, I forget which one. I know one is the one where uh, you're trapped in Tartarus. Where uh, Mitsuru's father dies. I... I believe that was November. I want to say Ch uh, Chidori is in is in December. Um, I the, the the scene where where she does give her life up for Junpei, I think was very well done. Um, maybe I was uh, just a bit more curious as to how like their interactions would go you know i i guess it's like maybe why uh like maybe it just felt kind of abrupt you know and that's why i'm like i just don't know a hundred percent like how i feel about this um I did. I, I did like it though. I thought it was a very, uh, again, a very impactful moment. Um. I I guess since I brought him up, I'll talk about Strega. Uh, 
I mean, Jin, there's there's not really a, a whole lot to say, and uh, Takaya, and... Uh, fuck Takaya, man, like, what a loser. Takaya, honestly, like, I don't even think was, like, the greatest villain or whatnot, like, they, they he, he seemed more just, like, another character rather than this, like, crazy... You know, I, I, sh I, sh I, sh I shouldn't say crazy because I feel like definitely a another crazy psychotic character. But uh, maybe they felt like they just kind of like snapped at a few points and like that's what made them so scary. You know, I mean, again, obviously shooting Shinji was one thing. Shooting Junpei is another just like stuff like that, you know. But otherwise, like, I don't know. It it he he feels more like a a stepping stone to like the bigger villain, which is Nyx, which you know is kind of like it's kind of just like all like all like story all like you know talk you don't actually know anything about nicks other than like they're apparently unbeatable until you go to fighter at the very end of the game um i think that's it for characters i don't know if i'm missing anything um this has already gone on longer than i thought we're at the 42 minute mark almost jesus christ so uh the combat was cool, like I said. Um, I didn't mind not being able to control my party. It wasn't that big of a problem. And if it was a problem, it was more, like, funny to me. It was like, oh, my... Like, Yukari would, like, use, like, like a medicine or something instead of casting a spell. And it's like, oh, my God. Like, like what are you doing? Like, like, like come on. But uh, that just kind of, like, added to the charm of the game, honestly. I didn't get nearly as 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 a uh, in depth with um persona fusing as I've seen I've seen other people get so um but you know I I still messed around with it a little bit and I still did some some pretty crazy ones and uh I forget what the team I had at the end was but uh I got to fucking check the name I don't remember Saudi is that his name yeah Saudi pretty much carried me through uh the Knicks fight and a lot of the the later combat so, like I said, towards the end is when, you know, like, second semester and maybe a little bit before is where, like, or not before, definitely second semester is where, like, I started to, like, really pick up on the game and, like, loved the game. And so, that's when I started doing, oh, I got to talk about social links. I started doing, you know, more social links, more Tartarus grinding, and, uh, you know, Saudi definitely helped with that. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, the, the combat is, you know, fine. I don't think anything super crazy, but, uh, it, it just kind of felt like in the grand scheme of the game, it was just something else to do, you know, I will say maybe it's because I was playing on easy. Um, I never, I never felt the game was like super grindy. Which uh, I'm thankful for. You know, I would just like, after a while, I kind of had the system where like I'd go in and I would do like, I'd get like one or two levels. I would maybe jump up 10 floors, hit the, uh, the teleporter and go back and save and then carry on. And you know, that, that seemed to work out. I think I was level uh, 72 when I finished the game. 
Um, social links. Okay. I'll try and keep these brief. I did Kenji's, which uh, was a journey. It was certainly something. I, I still think... Like, like, Kenji's a fucking idiot, but he's, like, a funny idiot, you know? It's, like, it's, like, it feels, like, too much to point and laugh at him, because it's just, like, man, like, like, what are you doing? Like, 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 come on. Like, it's, 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 like, it's so entertaining, you just have to, like, let him go. It's, like, okay, man, like, fucking, you... Tell me how this works out for you. Um, I also did Kaz's, which uh, his really surprised me. The 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 whole thing with like the 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 promise he made to his cousin, I believe it was, and then like his injury and him having to like hide his injury, you know, which is also something uh, as someone who's, who's had to do that, I've. Uh, I uh, re I related a lot to that. Um, that one caught me off guard. I know that's like one of the like introductory social links, but I I grew to like that one quite a bit. That's definitely one of my favorites. Um, not gonna make any friends with this one. Didn't really like Chihiro. Like basically, that whole social link starts and ends with her just being way too shy and then by the end she's just like less shy and i i don't know i i don't really like i think that they kind of paint it that there's like all this character growth and there's really not you know i will say it, it was kind of interesting towards the end where like people are blaming her for stealing money and whatnot and she has to stand up for herself but like i don't know to to me it felt less like there was growth there and more just like she just had a moment you know i don't know maybe i'm being harsh um the i'm gonna save my favorite one for last uh there's the gourmet king i did which was weird and also, like, I don't know. It was just weird. And also very uh, bleak at times, which was, like, also weird because it felt, like, out of place. Like, he had these just, like, crazy mood swings where he would just, like, snap and whatnot. And I don't know. Not one I enjoyed super well, to be honest. Um, I did uh, Keske's, the, uh, the, the music club one, which is funny to me because it starts with like him telling Fuka to take her shirt off which was like buddy like I get you're a doctor and whatnot and you're trying to help but like think about what you're doing like like come on man so that was funny but like again another one where like by the end like the whole like oh like my parents want me to do this, and, like, I feel pressure, but, like, I kind of want to do this instead, but I also still want to do that. Like, I, am I doing this for me? Am I doing this because I'm being told to? I really want to do this, too, but, like, I have to pick one. Like, that's, that is some of the most, like, that. I think that might be the one that I related the most to, you know, because that's, I mean, dude, that's fucking me, dude. Like, literally, you know, fucking... I feel fortunate at this point that, like, all of the hobbies, quote-unquote hobbies I had, all kind of turned into careers, you know? Like, I, I stream, and I play music, and I, you know, do art in my spare time, and editing and all that. Like, I, I turned them all into careers. Like, sick, you know? Maybe not uh, the crazy, you know, six-figure doctor's office job that people may have thought, but, like, you know... Um, then there was the old couple at the bookstore, which 
I thought it was gonna be like very mellow. I don't know why. I figured they were just gonna be like pretty uh pretty relaxed, but like that was pretty sad, the whole thing with like the tree being cut down and the you know the son being killed by a by a drunk driver, I believe it was. You know, and he planted the tree, it was for the students, and then they were going to remove it, and, the, like, that That was, like, very, very far from chill, you know? Um, and then... Am I missing any? I think that's all the ones I did, minus... Let's talk about Maya. Uh, the online game where you played Innocent Sin online and talk to Maya. And, and like, it's so funny to me because it, it just... And the reminder, the game takes place in 2009. And uh, the original game came out, I believe, in 2006. It's such like a product of its time like the fucking myspace fucking type speaking and whatnot like it it, it just it just makes me smile because it is such like that was such like a moment in time and i feel like even like looking like playing it now in 2024 it's like it just perfectly captures a moment in time for 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 me personally. I don't know how many people who are gonna listen to this were uh, on MySpace or whatever. You know, this is just funny. And then the twist at the end, where you know it's a uh, is the teacher all along, and like just. Just the payoff as well at the end of the game where, like, you find out and she, like, freaks out. It, like, it's so, so trashy and dramatic in, like, the greatest way. Like, that, I, I don't know. They, 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 uh, they nailed it with that one. Um, I might play NG Plus in this game, and if I do, there's definitely some social links that I want to do further. I did start Yukari's, but I, like, it was so late in the game, like, I just couldn't really go anywhere with it, which, which bums me out, but, uh, that's what NG Plus is for. Um, and then also, there was a point where, like, I just ran out of things to do, besides, as far as, like, social links go, so it was, like... I just, I I started Bebe's even though I I didn't get a chance to uh t to finish it, so. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to talk about. I think that's everything. But yeah, this this got pretty fucking long. Uh, it's a long fucking game. There's a lot to talk about. Oh, real quick. The music in this game was so fucking good. So fucking good. Um, especially, like, again, the January music when everything's super mellow, like, or super, not mellow, but, like, super, uh, super somber. That's, like, peak to me. Um, the Velvet Room music, the... I joked like if if Femur Breaker ever plays shows, I want to use uh, the uh, the Tartarus music. Uh, I forget the 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 name of the song actually, but uh, I want to use that as changeover music because I think it would just fit the vibe so super well. Um, yeah, like I said, I might play NG Plus in this game just to like see more stuff that I didn't get to see. I might. Uh, I'll definitely play Persona 4 Golden and Persona 5 Royal at some point. 
Um, and then uh, I have uh, Persona 2 Innocent Sin. I have a English hack um, with like everything in English and everything. Um, the uh, PS1 version. So I'm uh, going to play that at some point. And then same with uh, Eternal Punishment. I might check out the first Persona game uh, just for novelty. Um, I've heard it's like very bare bones in uh, comparison. But, uh, I mean, who knows? Um, I think after, or now that I'm done with this, I am going to move on to SMT Nocturne, which another game Glue Boy would not shut up about. And again, it, it has, apparently the, the, the combat's very similar, and it has the same, like, super like dark tone and everything so i think uh i'm gonna enjoy it just as much but uh yeah this uh yeah this went on longer than i thought it was going to i thought it was gonna be i knew it was gonna be long but i didn't think it was gonna be an hour uh but yeah very very stoked on this game uh if you haven't played it i if you haven't played it and you made it this far in the video i'm sorry i just spilled fucking everything for you but uh definitely cannot recommend this game enough uh i will probably get reload at some point when it's not 75 dollars and uh i mean even so like i i would love to play this game over again again especially because like there's so much stuff at the start that I just wasn't paying as much attention to, or maybe I was in like the wrong headspace for, I'd really like to see the beginning of the game again and see like things that maybe I missed out on or things that like, like are just going to make way more sense now. So yeah. Uh, thank you all for listening to this. And uh, yeah, I, I, I love this game so much. Uh, I will see y'all soon. Oh, uh, fucking watch me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Marathon Man. There you go. Alright. Thanks for listening to me ramble for an hour about this fucking game. It was very, very, very good, and I can't recommend it enough.